These boxes have been sitting in a warehouse for a week. Is there going to be anything still alive in here? I don't know. Now. No. Roxy, make sure she does the dishes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I wonder if the birds have had their babies yet. Ooh. That is definitely not what I want to find when I walk in the fish room. Yeah, this is definitely not the way we like to start the day. But when you've been doing this a while, I don't want to say you get used to it, but you kind of get used to it. Especially when you keep fish that need to be in large groups. This one's actually jammed up there in the rocks. going farther and farther back there. This is officially the worst case scenario. Well, that was officially the least amount of fun I've ever had. It never looks as good. You have to redo stuff. It's definitely one of the downsides of having a tank like this. A lot of people ask about cleaning around it and stuff like that. I really don't. But if you have a fish pass and you have to dig it out of there, that's really the only time you ever have to worry about all of that. And it's frustrating, but hey, it's still one of my favorite tanks, so we'll just deal with it. That could have been one catastrophe leading to another. What do I do? How do I react when I find myself in a situation like this? I've come into the fish house. I have a dead fish. Do I automatically go and do a water change like I'm doing right now? No, I don't do that. Uh, if I were a new fish keeper, what I would do is I would immediately, obviously you get the fish out, duh, but after that, I would do a test of my water and I would see if there's anything going on. If everything tests perfectly, then it, the fish just died. And there's not really a whole lot you can do about that. So if everything tests perfectly, you have a choice to make. Do I do anything or do I do something precautionary? And that's what I'm doing right now. That's why I'm doing a water change in here. I'm not doing it because the world is crashing down around me and all of my fish are gonna die if I don't. I'm doing it because we're, we just had a fish die in there. We're getting ready to go on a trip. I don't want to wait another week to do a nice water change in there. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. But you know what? I have a really good idea. Let's go ask Lisa what she would do in this situation. What in the world are you doing? Watering my plants with poopy water. Oops. 
Okay. And I haven't fallen today, so that's a plus. All right, you're busy collecting your poop and distributing your poop. Yes. But I want to put a scenario in front of you, and you tell me what you would do. Uh, okay. Let's pretend that the fish that you found that was dead in my 240, let's pretend that was your fish. Hmm. What would you do? What would you immediately do to resolve that issue? Well, that's why I clean tanks out every day, and I get poop out of the tanks twice a day in the morning. I come in, I look to see uh, if there isn't poop and there's uneaten food, that's a concern for me. So I try to be proactive, and if I see that a fish hasn't ate, that's kind of a, a ding, 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 something's not right. So that's when I would turn the water off one of these that like this guy right here, I turn the water off because I found uneaten food in there this morning and I was like, you know, it's somebody I need to keep a closer eye on. Doesn't mean anything. I do sometimes feed twice a day, so maybe I, he just wasn't hungry the second go round. But again, that's why I go through here twice a day. So I, I like to be proactive. Here we are, all done, fish are all safe. They were safe to begin with. Like I said, I'm not doing this out of panic. I did this because it really needed to be done anyway. And uh, I feel better about it now. Leaving town, I'm not gonna have to worry, am I gonna come home and find more dead fish in there? We should be all good to go. But remember yesterday when I was talking about the Tropica shipment that we had that was all jammed up in the warehouse somewhere? Well, guess what? It just got delivered, so let me go see what's going on and hopefully avoid another disaster. These boxes have been sitting in a warehouse for a week. Is there going to be anything still alive in here? I don't know. So in case you didn't see the vlog yesterday, I ordered plants from Tropica. Uh, Tropica North America is headquartered in Vancouver, Canada. Uh, so it is an international shipment when they ship to me. Normally it goes very, very smoothly. I'll order them over the weekend. Uh, they'll ship them out Tuesday. I'll get them Wednesday. Sometimes FedEx will be delayed and, uh, and I'll get them Thursday. But either way, it's, it's usually just a one day thing. It's shipped express, no matter who they ship it through, but uh, because it has to go through customs and all that kind of stuff, sometimes it gets delayed. It was getting delayed every single time that they were shipping with FedEx. So I asked them this time, I said, hey, can you ship UPS instead? They're a little bit more reliable in my experience. That was not the case this time. This was stuck in a warehouse for a week. And this is a lot of plants. This is the smaller of the two boxes. I don't know what we're about to see. And it could be absolute carnage. Or it could be not that bad. Ludwigia. There's still moisture in the bag and the pot, the, the rock wool, look at that. It's still wet. Um, Tropical puts these little identification cards in here. I love it. This might not be a total loss. Rotala. I mean, is it perfect? No, but 
I was expecting to open this box and have it be full of a bunch of slop. Now I see some yellow here for sure. This is the Helanthium. Yeah, she needs some water. It's a beautiful plant, uh, definitely deprived. This is the compact version of Bacopa. Listen, I was expecting this to be a complete and total loss. Look in here. I don't know what you can see, but you can see there's always all still plenty of moisture in here. So I think, I don't know. I think we might be all right. Poor little fella. I'm trying to give you the final recap of uh, of these plants, and I keep getting text messages that we may have been uh, a victim of fraud. Isn't life wonderful? Why do people have to suck? All right. As if there's not enough crisis is, is, is today. Thankfully, that crisis was averted. No thanks to you, but. Uh, yeah, that was just a scammer. I hate scammers so much. These scam artists are so good and they're so convincing at what they do. And you know what? I hate them all and I hope they all burn in hell. If there is a hell, I hope they're there and they're burning and it's miserable. And, uh, oh God, somebody just needs to, anyway. Now to our other crisis. Was it a crisis? I don't think this one was either. Uh, was it a perfect shipment? No, it wasn't. I think at the end of the day, when all when everything settles in and, and we do a, a final kind of count of everything, I think probably 75% of the plants that we got today will be sellable within the next couple of weeks. Some of them might need a little more time to bounce back. The Ludwigia came in really, really good. We ordered 20 of them and I think 19 of them we could probably sell today. We won't, but we could. The crypts, uh, I don't know about the crypts. You know, crypts can be a little finicky in the beginning, and there's some of them that are like, Ugh, I don't know, we'll have to see about that. The Bacopa looks like mom's spaghetti on Marshall's sweater. I don't know how much of that is going to bounce back, but you know, some of them look really, really bad. The Anubius came in flawless, as you would expect. Anubius is, you know, it's practically like keeping plastic plants. So those are perfect. We could sell those today and I probably will put them up on the website today or tomorrow uh, because they're just, they're just perfect. The beautiful thing about a lot of the plants that we carry on the site is they are very resilient and they will bounce back. Overall, I think it's going to be a, a success. The tissue cultures, they all came in and every single one of them came out of the box and they were like, what's the big deal? I mean, you know, what's going on here? Why are you freaking out so much? They're, they're flawless. They look perfect. And you kind of expect that because they're raised in this cup. They're, this Bacopa right here has never been in anything but this cup. It was literally grown in a lab. So there wasn't anything different for them other than the lack of lighting. But again, most of the plants that we carry are low to medium light. So they weren't affected at all. This just solidifies my love, love affair with Tropica. One of the biggest reasons why we picked them up is because we believe very strongly that if we can keep these plants, you can too. And this just proves that. To go through what these plants have gone through and to still be here and to still be in the condition that they're in. Yeah, they're not the greatest condition, but it just, to me, it just solidifies the whole thing. Tropica, they got a good hold on things and their stuff can sit in a warehouse for a week and still be okay. Mostly. One of the benefits of having a YouTube channel is that sometimes you just get packages in the mail that are gifts 
from subscribers. This one is from Dan Durbin. Hi, John, from watching your videos. I know you collect bobbleheads, so I thought you might like this one. Let me tell you something, folks. I have everything from pieces of poop bobbleheads to my own bobbleheads. If it's a bobblehead, I'm gonna love it. I don't care what it is. This is so exciting because you just don't ever expect this kind of thing. And the anticipation is crazy. It's the new King Charles. He's adorable. Dan, that is so cool. I love it. I, I don't understand much about the monarchy and, and all of that kind of stuff, um, but I know this guy, I've seen this guy my entire life on TV, and now he's the king. So I guess that's cool. And I will put him on the shelf, and he will be there amongst all the others, looking so adorable, looking quite dapper in his fancy suit. Thanks, Dan Durbin. So today has been a doozy of a day, but we got through it. I guess the moral of the story today is whether it's you come home to find a fish dead in your aquarium or you get a shipment of plants too late, don't panic. <laughs>